I don't know about you, but I love a good adventure. I love a good journey. I love taking road trips, especially through the American Southwest. And there's something special about a journey. It's something that is innate to each and every single one of us. Indeed, St. Teresa of Avila talks about the spiritual journey, not as a journey outside toward God, high on some mountain somewhere, but rather it's an inward journey to a God who is already waiting for us and as tabernacles of the Lord, God is waiting inside of us. And so our spiritual journeys is not a journey outside, but a journey inward to discover who God is and who we truly are. And so this is the beginning of a series, probably about 60 videos that we're going to make throughout the year, maybe one a week, as we talk about our spiritual journey. And I think so many times as we think about the idea of journey or we think about our faith, as Catholics, I think we divide that into one of two things. Either we've got venial sin or mortal sin. Either, either we've sinned a little bit or we've sinned a lot. But we don't think about the stages and the progression that exists within our relationship with God. You think about human relations, for example. A child goes through different stages. They grow from fetus to a baby to an adolescent to an adult. Gets married, has children, grandchildren, empty nest. There are a lot of different stages, and the same is true in our relationship with God. And so we've put together something called our spiritual journey. And the first, I think, stage on that journey is asking ourselves the question, do I want to make the journey or not? Do I want to journey with Jesus, walk with Jesus, have him walk with me in my life, and grow in my relationship with God? And something for us to consider if that's something that I want to do. Because I would dare to say that most of us, we would rather be comfortable. We'd rather things not change. We would rather things remain the same instead of going out on a perilous journey. And it is a perilous journey. It's a very dangerous journey. It's a journey fraught with terrors and things that we discover about ourselves that terrify us, challenges but the Lord always walks with us. And indeed, the Lord has walked in front of us. He's trod the way before us. He's gone through the good times and the bad. He's gone through the crucifixion. He's gone through the grave. And he, he goes into eternal life. He says, I've walked the path before you. I want to bring you on this journey. And so we're going to be talking about that journey and growing in our relationship with God. But the first part, before we even begin the journey at all, and here's where we consider of all of humanity is do I want to make the journey? In our baptisms, we are called and we are invited to make that journey with God. We are washed, we were clothed, we were equipped, we were given the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ to grow as Christians, to grow into fully mature adults. However, for so many of us, our faith kind of stopped maybe at eighth grade. But then when we get older, We've now got the problems of a 30-year-old with the faith of an 8-year-old, and the 8-year-old faith can't handle it. And so it's something for us to consider, am I willing to take this journey? Most people don't. Most people don't have the courage or the interest or the curiosity to go on this journey. <laughs> but I invite you to take this journey with me as we consider... The, how our Lord Jesus Christ desires for us to grow. And I think a lot of our frustration as Christians rests in the fact that so many of us, I think we are on a journey. We are seeking God. We do want to grow. We do want to mature. We do want to be a better friend of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then we get frustrated when other people aren't at the same place as us in our relationship with God. And so I think it'll be helpful for us to talk about the different places, the different stages that each person is at on a journey. Because as you go on any walking path, there are routes along the way, and there are stops along the way. Not everyone is in the same place together. And as Catholics, it's really important for us to realize that each person is in a very different place in their walk with the Lord. Some people don't want to go on the journey. Some people have taken a small part of the journey and they're sacramentalized. They were, at least they have received sacraments, but that's all it goes to. There's no Mass on Sunday. There's no relationship with God or prayer during the week. That's it. Others are going to Mass on Sundays, but not without any prayer life. Others are growing in their prayer life, and others are discerning vocations. Everyone's at a different place. 
And I think it's helpful for us to see where am I at in my relationship with God. And just because I'm more advanced doesn't mean I'm at a better or worse place in my relationship with God. It's just where we're at. We are where we are. So many times we think, well, I wish my husband had more faith or my children or my grandchildren. Or why don't I have the faith or the holiness or the prayer life of so-and-so? We are where we are in our relationship with God. And we're going to be talking about all of these different stages as we grow closer and closer and closer to God. And as we grow closer and closer to God, we grow closer and closer to ourselves. So the first stage is just to simply ask ourselves the question, do I want to make the journey? Reading from the prophet Jeremiah, he says in chapter 6, verse 16, Thus says the Lord, Stand by the earliest roads, seek the pathways of old, which is the way of good, and walk in it. Thus you will find rest for your souls. So I pray as we go on this spiritual journey, we'll be able to find rest for our souls. We'll be able to consider where we're at with our relationship with God, how far we've come, how far we have yet to go. journey but this week consider do you want to take that first step do you go want to go on our spiritual journey with the lord god bless you